Brian, I love that your title includes direct to consumer in it, and that wasn't a thing a few years ago. So right. why is D2C important to NBC Universal? Yeah, I think it's important because uh, when we look at the D2C landscape, you know, these brands were born in social and they get to a point where they need to scale their businesses. And so that's why at NBC Universal, we created this program for businesses to actually scale beyond social and we've named it direct to scale so it's also very important for these brands to be able to measure everything that they do right to measure um, beyond spike attribution and measure across a 7 14 21 30 day time period so that television and our platform in particular can get the credit that it deserves and how do you think that the D2C brands are really thinking about the math between some of those different metrics of success, that proof of performance, between upper funnel and lower funnel types of measures? Yeah, so what we're finding is that um, a brands, that it's, it's pretty much split between upper funnel and lower funnel. As you can imagine, the brands that are in the, the, the smaller to, to mid-stage uh, startups, they're looking at customer acquisition. They're looking at website conversion. They're really looking at that bottom of the funnel conversion. But then when brands become a little bit more mature in their life cycle, they're looking at brand awareness. They, they know for sure that they need to take care of their brand if they're going to scale beyond uh, social and scale beyond the feed. And so it's really important for us to be able to provide a solution that that provides uh, real um, opportunities for these brands to access our portfolio regardless of what their KPIs are. Now, I know you spent a good chunk of your career in direct response television. Right. I'm curious, what's changed? What's new that we get to avail ourselves of in this more evolved world? Yeah, you know, I spent um, uh, really the majority of my career working in direct response television on the sales side. And so I, um, uh, a few years back, I took a, a pivot outside of direct response solely and you know I get the question pretty often like why did you leave direct response and so part of my answer is around attribution and not really um, um, believing that television was getting the credit that it deserved for attribution when you think about um, judging uh, television or a particular medium within a, uh, a one to five minute attribution window you know I think about the way that consumers actually transact with brands and, and how many times they need to be exposed to the brand for them to actually transact against that brand I think that it's really important to give television the uh, the credit that it deserves and not just um, uh, have that value siphoned off by a social platform. So if we get to the right measures, do you think that linear television can be an effective performance medium? Do you believe? For sure. Linear television is a, 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 a very effective um, a tool for direct-to-consumer brands. If you think about um, when you turn on your television right now, you will see a variety of direct-to-consumer brands transacting in the, in the linear space. But what we offer at NBC Universal is so much more than just linear television. We have digital platforms, we have advanced TV platforms with our ad smart capabilities. And guess what? We also have um, abilities for these brands to transact be beyond the United States with our, um, our uh, company, Sky, in the UK. And so what we're really doing is being able to provide really a full solution for these brands to scale in the United States, and as their business does scale, scale beyond the United States into the UK and other territories. So last question, I'm curious, you're really focused on the D2C customer segment, but of course established brands are often now talking about acting like D2C brands. Right. Do you think the innovation that you have on the D2C side of the business will percolate into the mass brands that are legacy in their historical mindset? Yeah, I think that it has. You know, when you, th when you think about our ad smart capabilities, we have transacted with so many brands within our ad smart suite of products, and these brands are primarily thinking about uh, how do they succeed against their KPIs. And so I think that when, you, when you're looking at uh, brands that are new to television and you're looking at established brands, the one thing that they have in common is that they have to achieve against KPIs. Whether that KPI is site conversion or brand lift, they have to achieve against those. And so, you know, they're holding networks and places like NBC Uni Universal accountable for achieving success. And I think that there's really no, no difference in, in success when you're thinking about a direct-to-consumer brand and a legacy brand. We ultimately, we need, to, uh, be, we need to perform for those brands in order for them to grow and ultimately uh, stay, stay with our platform.